In 2012, we discovered the Higgs boson, a new fundamental particle that makes up the universe. In many ways, it was the last piece of the puzzle of what we call the standard model, which is our periodic table in particle physics. But there was a new puzzle that it immediately opened up. Using all those pieces, we, we can't explain all the matter that we see in the, in the universe. A lot of the cosmos is known to be composed of something called dark matter. We started to think about what kind of experiments we could do to probe that dark sector. It was 2014. Ite, a friend of ours and great theorist here from NYU, said, well, could you look for millicharged particles? Ten minutes later, we had a design for a detector, and it took about ten more years to build that into a full experiment. People have been looking for millicharged particles for a long, long time because there's no reason that all particles should necessarily have to have the same charge as that of the electron. Instead of, you know, one electron charge, it might be one thousandth of the electron charge. We're the first that have looked for them at a particle collider. That gives us the ability to discover particles that could only be created in the Large Hadron Collider collision. We realized that these small charges would need a specialized detector and that that detector would, should sit outside of CMS somewhere and, and try to catch the flux of these particles. So that led to a paper that we wrote in 2014 and a number of my physicist colleagues uh, that work uh, here at CERN and around the world expressed interest in joining, and the Millikan collaboration was born. Over the years, it grew into about 10 to 20 people, plus students and postdocs with people from NYU and Ohio and UCSB, plus European institutions and CERN, really international group of collaborators. So the next step was to try to find a place to put Millikan. We found a tunnel directly above CMS, about 33 meters from the interaction point. So there's plenty of rock and shielding that can block the unwanted particles, and only the millicharged particles would be the ones that go through. No one had ever built a detector quite like that. So we had to learn how to detect millicharged particles. We started in the lab, and we learned how to detect single photons that would be emitted by millicharged particles going through these detectors. Once we knew how to do that, we took that technology to CERN. We built a prototype, which we actually called the demonstrator. But its purpose was to demonstrate the feasibility of the core design, but also study the backgrounds and optimize the, the final design. You're looking for something that nobody has ever seen before. If you find a new discovery, you need to know that you found it. We, we, we need simulation to understand both our, our signal, the military's particles that we're searching for, as well as our backgrounds. There's radioactive background decays. There's cosmic rays that reach underground. So the trigger is able to look at the data from the detector in real time and look for signals that would look like a military particle. Based on the success of that, it allowed us to modify the design and go ahead with a full detector. Millikan is composed of units that we call the bars. So this is the full bar. It's a, it's a 60 centimeter long scintillator that responds to the uh, uh, interactions of the millicharged particle, produces a tiny amount of light that comes down the end to the photomultiplier tube here that can detect the maybe one or two photons that are produced. At laboratories, they made what was called a super module, which was an array of a larger array of these. Those were assembled here at CERN, lowered underground, and, and we inserted these super modules into the array. On 1st June 2023, we we got our detector completely running for the very first time and our assembly was done. It's just so exciting that after 10 years, we finally have it built. We've started collecting data with the LHC Run 3 and the next years are just going to bring a ton of amazing data for us. Running Millikan is a group effort. We have shifters every week whose job is to monitor the runs to make sure that the data that we collect is of highest quality to access it. You have to take an elevator and go down about 100 meters underground. You walk up about four flights of stairs. This is an incredible experiment to work on. Many searches, you, you get data and you, you analyze it on your computer. You, you do some study, you run some code. We can go underground while collisions are happening. Even though I got into this really uh, with scientific motivations, it's turned out that education and training uh, is, is one of the largest uh, benefits that Millikan offers. CMS is a very big collaboration, and typically as a postdoc you are responsible for a single part of the big detector, whereas in Millikan uh, you get the chance to be involved in every step of the experiment.
Most of the work uh, on each of these competencies was done by graduate students and undergrads, which is excellent because uh, you rarely get to do hands-on research on particle physics and have a huge impact on an experiment. We actually hope to publish data very soon. With just one year of data, this detector could discover millicharged particles. Essentially what you see is a plot for every single channel of our detector, uh, voltage against time. Uh, and then we can use that to infer how much energy actually went through the detector and whether it was consistent with the millicharged particle or not. I expect that we'll have an initial result with the data we've collected so far within the next couple of months. We really started a new field of millicharged particle detectors at the LAC and also at other accelerators all around the world. We have one at, in uh, Japan that's called SubMet, that's at JPARC. Uh, and we have one uh, plan that will be at Los Alamos called LANCE. We've looked for the big particle using big experiments for many years. And we're at a place where we need to try new ideas, but something different. And Millikan is a great idea that's new and there's nothing else like it. After 10 years, we're finally able to see the answer to the question, do millicharged particles exist and are they the first hint of the dark sector? So within a few months, we should probably know the answer to that and I can't wait to find out.